Hello humans! So this week we've been working on a playstand makeover. If you didn't see last week's video where we talked about all the things wrong with these commercial playstands, check it out. That way you'll know if something you already have at home might be posing a danger to your bird. Yuki, where are you going? We're trying to do a video. Anyway, last week's video detailed one playstand specifically on Amazon, but it turns out that so many of these on the market have these kinds of problems. So today I'm going to show you how I have taken an unsafe stand from Amazon and turned it into something safe and a lot more fun. It was quick and easy, and it's something you can do at home. So let's get to it. The first step to our playstand makeover is to remove all of the unsafe hardware and toys. I've taken off the spring clips, which can impale a beak, and removed the unsafe bells. I'm also removing all of the yellow zinc coated screws that hold this thing together and I'm replacing them with stainless steel. All of the hanging hooks were galvanized so they are being replaced with stainless as well and I'll be putting together a new housing for our stainless bowls. I decided on a platform as the new bowl housing. While I'm still not a fan of how deep these bowls are, I didn't want to buy an entire new set for this project. I used a piece of untreated pine 1x4 and a hole saw to create the bowl platform, then sand it and cut it to size. This would be attached to the stand with two stainless screws later. This is my favorite part of this kind of project. While I always have a general idea what I want to do, in this case add some natural branches, I don't tend to plan things out exactly. I have a great time rifling through my stash of manzanita branches and just choose what feels right to me at the time. Link in the description if you'd like to get some for yourself. I replaced the original dowel rod crossbar with a nice manzanita fork and then attached the new feeding platform to the top rung. Even when using stainless hardware, I highly suggest drilling your holes a touch bigger on the outside so that you can sink the heads in. It just looks more finished that way. I added a coconut climbing rope so that the little birds can easily walk up to the top for a snack and added a fork for perching and to hang toys from on the upper level. Here's our finished upgraded stand. Unfortunately, camera trouble caused the footage of building the accessories to be lost, but it has a new safe bamboo ladder, coconut fiber climbing rope, natural manzanita perches, a flat feeding platform, and safe toys built on plastic chain and stainless steel wire. This stand would be best suited to tiny birds like budgies or lovebirds, but it's not terrible for conures and other medium-sized parrots. It's still far too small for a cockatoo like Yuki, or the hilarious photoshopped macaw from the original listing, though. Thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this project and I hope it's given you guys some inspiration and confidence to try some of your own. I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel. I'll see you next week!